We have team coverage tonight. Our Aaron Jones looking into concert safety for you now as a result of all of this at venues here in North Texas. Here's what she found out. The experts we spoke to tonight say no one can ever guarantee zero risk, but there are things that you can do to add extra layers of protection to concert goers. He's in town from Houston to see one of his favorite bands just days after the Astro World Tour tragedy. Dave Meek calls what happened last Friday incredibly concerning, and we'll be watching his surroundings closely. To make sure that. Uh, that the people aren't doing crazy things. He attends festivals and concerts regularly and says there's one key thing that stood out to him about last weekend's festival. Uh, they really didn't have a safety plan in, in, in place. An investigation will uncover those areas of deficiency and it's going to allow everyone to make sense of what happened. Mark Herrera is the director of safety and security for the International Association of Venue Managers. In part, he hosts trainings for arenas, convention centers, stadiums, and fairgrounds, including AT&T Stadium and Globe Life Field, teaching how to best mitigate any hazards that could potentially occur during a live event, like a crowd surge. But I always believe in identifying the behavior, right? Before that crowd surge began, uh, the crowd behavior had to start somewhere. And if you have folks that are trained to identify crowd behavior that is not conducive to the environment, they're able to interject and to diffuse any bad situation before it ever rolls into a potential, you know, hazardous or massive crowd event. Yesterday, Governor Abbott launched a task force that will include music industry leaders, safety experts, fire crews, law enforcement, state agencies, and others. During a series of roundtable discussions, they'll analyze concert safety and develop ways to enhance security at live music events. They're really trying to make sense of what happened. What happened? What went wrong? What could we have done better? And how are we going to prevent this from happening uh, moving forward? And that's key. If it can help improve uh, the safety, then maybe maybe it'll help. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. So if you're in the middle of a concert, middle of a big crowd, when should you begin to worry about your own safety? It turns out there is a way to kind of know when you're at risk. And the rule of thumb we hear from a crowd control expert is five. Five or more people packed into every square meter of space. Paul Wertheimer has a good rule of thumb that you should follow. People in the crowd have to have enough room that they can easily leave the festival seating crowd under reasonable conditions. People are so close, he says, that they're constantly bumping into you. You probably want to consider getting to an area with fewer people.